Hello everyone, this is my first bug video. I noticed this quite a while ago, but I was never really sure where it was coming from until a certain Dago um, helped me figure that one out. It's a problem that arises that your Elite Force game server is crowded full with bots, although you set it to a lot fewer than that. So somehow the server just, just adds bots and bots and bots, and at some point it is simply full. And this is actually kind of a glitch that comes from, one might say, malconfiguration, but one could also argue it's a bug. And I'm going to show you why that is and where the problem is actually coming from. So I'm going to start a multi-match server. You could also do this with a dedicated server via a console script or something like that. But for the example here, I created in-game. This problem arises when you play Assimilation. For those of you that do not know Assimilation, it's a two-team game where one side has to um, kill a certain figure from the other team. The Federation team has to kill the Borg Queen, and the Borg team, on the other hand, has the job to assimilate everyone from the Federation team. So two opposing goals. The one side has to kill the Queen, the other side has to assimilate everyone. And one specialty about this is that after a while, for fairness reasons, you cannot switch the team, you cannot join the match anymore. Usually when you play a team game and you join a server, you can pick a team. And if auto balance is turned off, then you are rather freely to do whatever you want. In this game type here, assimilation, you are not allowed to join the match or switch the team after a while. This is an important um, problem um, factor here, because if this were not the case, we wouldn't be having this problem. I'm going to choose a map that is big enough so that we can actually have some time to run around on the map, give the game some time. I configure the game to have a bot min players. Set to three. Just to verify this. Default value is zero. Botman players means that for each team that is playing, the server will fill up teams with bots if the number of players in this team isn't at, at least at the number that you defined here. Let's say you have, as in our case here, set Botman players to three, means if the team has less than three players, then the rest will be filled up with bots. And it's per team in um Deathmatch, it would be for all of the players, and in multiple uh, in multiple team modes like assimilation, it's per team. Meaning on our server here with Botman players, we have set it to three players per team, which means if you have six guys around, then the game shouldn't add any more bots because you have three per team. That's it. I'm going to create a server um, with stupid bots here so that they can't uh, mess up my video here. The advanced settings, I have the other team off. And we have set here the max clients to eight, which means there cannot be any more players on the server, bots or humans alike, not more than eight. Yes, I'm creating a listen server here, so it's not dedicated server. Um, I'm going to join right into this match here. So I'm going to be one of those eight, leaving space for seven other guys. So let's go. Let's see what Botman players here says. Still three. I'm going to switch the team quickly. So now I'm the queen. I'm the one who has to be killed 
by the Federation. I have only one weapon. And that is the assimilator. The assimilator is a melee weapon, which means I have to get really close like this. And it works instantly. So now I have assimilated one of the Federation's guys. When we look at the players here, okay, we are three in my team now. We have a spectator and one other in the opposing team. And you can already see what the problem here is. Now that I have killed someone, this could also happen without killing, you see we have already seven players here on the server. The reason is very simple. Now we have even eight. The server is now full. When someone dies, or if for some reason the team isn't full by the time the blocking mechanism hits, meaning nobody can join the match anymore, then the slot will have to be open at all times. In our case here, we have one blue guy. We could have up to three blue guys, but the other two slots here are supposed to be not occupied. This is what the game does all of the time. If you try to join the blue team, you're going to get kicked out being a spectator afterwards. And this also applies for bots that are being added by the botman player's mechanism. The spectators here are all guys which were added by botman players, but as they are not allowed to join the blue team, the blue team is never going to reach the limit of three players. And this is going on until the server is full. The client has no chance to do anything here. It's actually the server that decides, well, let's add a bot, let's add a bot, let's add a bot, until everything is full. And the worst part about this is, this isn't limited to normal slots. For those of you who know that um, a server can have private slots, you might think, well, okay, then I connect with my private slot and kick some bots or something. This even fills the private slots. Meaning, when this strikes, and it is not resolved by ending the match for some reason, then the server is simply crowded full. There's no chance for you to get in. I haven't tried yet if you can do an Archon connection yet, but a classical approach like joining on and then entering Archon commands won't work. You won't be able to join anymore. So effectively, you are out of the picture. And as I said, this could be considered a um, configuration problem because I set botman players in conjunction with this game mode. And this isn't a good idea, as you can see. Can leave you, well, outside, essentially. And it was a bit surprising for me because every now and then I just noticed my server is full of bots and I have no idea why. This is why, because this specific game mode here fills up the server when configured, let's say, not properly. This Hansa blue guy here. Yeah, you weren't supposed to kill him. This is why the game can go on quite some time. So if you ever come into the situation that your server is full of bots and you configured botman players to a value that doesn't fit this number of players, just check if you have assimilation going and it's very likely this is the reason why you cannot do anything. Why you cannot go in. Yeah. Now you're mine. Borg and you can see um, the match. after this outro here that we are still Your completely full. MVP. All the guys are still there. They are not leaving. Not even at the end of the mission. This is why you cannot join your server anymore. So don't do it. Don't give botman players command or don't set botman players when you're using assimilation mode. Hope that helps someone.